So Moondrop is back with another bang for your buck product and this time with a surprisingly amazing $25 TWS which has the audacity to compete and defeat your IEMs. Let's check out this $25 Marvel by Moondrop. Spoiler alert, insanely good signature, rich and clear tonality and that too with an ANC in $25. Hello everyone, my name is Vikash and welcome to our channel. Do subscribe and let's start with the sound. Starting with the unboxing of Moondrop Space Travel. So build quality wise, it is okay. You might want to take care of the product. So I bought this uh, cover. This is not included with this. I bought it for $9 additional. This is made by Moondrop itself. It's nice to feel and it has very snugly fit. You can wear Moondrop Space Travel whole day and you won't even feel it. It's that comfortable. For comfort is A1. So now further ado, let's start with the exciting stuff, sound. Well, this is the part where Moondrop absolutely nailed it. Space Travel is such a well-tuned IEM that I can't think of a single IEM that will beat it in terms of tuning under $50. The only name that is better than this that comes to my mind is Project Red. And that is, I think, $55. By the way, do let me know in comments if you want a review of Project Red as well. Look at this frequency response, neutral clean tune with slight bass boost. I would say it's a mild V-shaped tuning that we are looking here. However, there's a surprise. Look at this graph. All these three tunings are from Space Travel TWS only and they're already available in your Moondrop Link 2.0 app as a preset. It's like having three different IEMs. I'll touch upon it in the app section where we'll discuss about the app in detail and how to use it. For my testing, I use all three presets. However, base head is the set I think will be mass appealing and everyone will appreciate it. Even I appreciated that a slight warm, warmer V-shaped tune that was there. While, while the name suggests base head, it is not bass heavy. It is a well-controlled tuning with a warmth in it. So let's talk about all the frequencies one by one and you will have a better idea how Moondrop space level sounds. I would say bass is average and tad little pillowy. However, it does hit in sub bass. It is well balanced with the rest of the frequencies and it is very satisfying to listen to. For example, if I talk about sub bass in the song Long After You're Gone by Chris, it hits you well and it doesn't mingle with all the other frequency in other parts of the songs. It gives you a feel of depth in the song. Similarly, if I talk about mid ranges, mids on this particular TWS is absolutely amazing. Vocals shine here. I found it to be a vocal forward. So upper mid are a little scoped. You can see it in the frequency response. However, uh, it does not affect the overall tonality of the mid section. It is still melodious and detailed throughout 500 to 4K range. Uh, if I give you example in terms of song, if you listen to the song, Sorry by Roy Xop. So in this song, Jamie's vocals are treat to listen to. The vibrations in the vocal and the breath of the artist while singing, like in this case when Jamie is singing, everything is fantastic. However, sub bass, around three minutes, it's not that hitting. It is beautiful. It is there. However, it, it lacks some depth for my testing. To give the example that that hit feeling that you get when uh, when the lower lower bass or you can say sub bass comes into the picture, the feeling is missing in this particular song. However, it was very well present in Long After You're Gone by Chris. Treble is again sparkly, well controlled. It helps in some detail retrieval as well. So if you listen to this song, Zombie by Murray, the echo of her song is well presented and clearly identifiable in the song with these TWS. So overall, all these three frequencies are very well cohesive and available while listening to the song, making it a very musical experience. However, let's talk about the technicalities now. Imaging on Moondrop Space Travel is okay. 
sometime it is spot on sometime i feel that that is like too much on your face however as compared to 20 dollar segment it is more than satisfactory like for example in uh, in the song letter by yoshi horikawa the writing goes from left to right ear and is uh, it is very clear and very fun to listen to it has good imaging however it lacks a sound stage so if you are someone who is looking for sound stage in TWS i would not suggest you go for these TWS the sounds are very close to your head you feel you you feel the width of it however it is not that wide they are very close to your head so i would say sound stage is not a strong suit for these TWS it is okay it is there it is not as wide as it should be however separation is one part where i was impressed again overall this TWS uh, shocked me here and there again and again and separation was one part love the separation of layers in these TWS for example if you listen to dreams by flatwood mac in these uh, TWS male and female vocals are coming together then um, instruments symbols everything is distinguishable but yet at the same time they are cohesive and musical so it's a treat to listen to so for separation thoroughly impressed by these 25 dollar TWS i mean i'm again and again saying 25 dollar TWS because i'm surprised how just 25 dollar can sound so good in TWS that definitely a benchmark it's similar to other 20 dollar IEMs nothing special our concluding sound i would choose this TWS over any 20 dollar IEM in the market they are very good they have very good sound additionally it brings you the benefit of convenience of TWS so now let's talk about application so application is one part where moondrop was lacking however with moondrop link 2.0 I would say they have done a very good job. Overall, app support is good. Moondrop, as always, took feedback and did work on it. For example, I downloaded this on S22 Ultra. It was snappy, minimal, and useful. However, I have one disclaimer here. The app is not present on Android Play Store. So you have to download this from the Moondrop app in as an APK format and then install it on your devices. Additionally, not sure why a music app requires my location. One pointer for anyone who is skeptical about data sharing. So uh, just FYI. Now back to the app. I will explain it in three parts. One interface, two control and number three a special bonus for Moondra fans. So number one interface, it is absolutely minimal and easy to navigate. So top part is Moondrop advertisement, subtle, not invasive. So bottom is for devices and it support all your devices uh, that are compatible with Moondrop platform like Moon, anything that has Moondrop free DSP cable, Moondrop TWS, etc, etc. And it provides you some great controls uh, on EQ as well. So this is one thing to look for. Number two, Controls. Controls are very easy to navigate. You click on the device, like in this case, Moon, Moondrop Space Travel, and you have two options, EQ and Touch. So as we discussed earlier, EQ has three options, Reference, Monitor, and Bass Head. You can apply any of them. It will change your sound slightly. So as per your liking, do change, play around with these EQs. And the second part, Touch, has all the touch controls that you can customize according to yourself. Uh, what do you want on single click, double click, triple click, all is there. And for bonus, there's a dedicated wallpaper section in the app for Moondrop waifu fans. Have a look. Additionally, the voice in TWS is also of an anime girl. I'm not a fan, however, I'm pretty sure a lot of people will like it. Coming to the technical features of Moondrop Space Travel, I would say they are quite fundamental in terms of technology. They have AAC, SBC codec support. They do not support LDAC. Aptex HD. So basically, there are no superior uh, audio codecs or formats, you can say. However, we have Bluetooth 5.3 with low latency and assistant support. So let's talk about them one by one. So let's start with ANC first. The ANC again is surprisingly good for this TWS. However, this is standard algorithm, but they work really well. I do not have equipment to check how good this ANC is. How let, however, let me explain what I experienced in my testing. 
so any uh, low frequency sounds will be cut down like your fan noise or any rumbly noise here and there will go drastically down however it will not cut mid and treble ranges uh, from your surrounding the decibel of those will definitely reduce so overall you can't compare this ANC with flagships like Apple, Sony etc but for $25 this is the best you get one nitpick from my side is you cannot select any ANC mode directly so let's say uh, I am in ANC mode and I want to go to transparency mode so I have to triple tap for normal mode then triple tap again for transparency mode so now I want to go back to normal mode now I have to triple tap for ANC mode then again triple tap for the normal mode so depending on which order you are on you have to do this three four second additional that you have to provide at this price point this is a nitpick however I would have appreciated if there is option in the app where you can directly select ANC transparency or normal mode so the order is transparency normal and ANC just FYI waifu will sush you on the ANC mode on as an indicator so overall good ANC for $25 now let's move to assistant part you give it a three tap and you have the assistant of your choice you want Google Alexa or Bixby your choice so again a very valuable addition for your day-to-day -day activity these TWS also have gaming mode so you give four taps on either side and gaming mode is on and it goes into a low latency mode so I test in my testing latency was coming in 100 to 150 millisecond ranges which is a very very good latency for TWS kudos to Bluetooth 5.3R so coming to controls controls are okay you will not feel any lag however you will not feel that snappy also it's good it works it's fluid so uh, I don't have any complaints here so now moving on to battery battery is okay it's good for your daily use it will last you about four hours and about two more charges in the case so for your listening sessions and your focused work hours it will not deceive you it is good enough I have tested it always on ANC so I would say easily three four hours however I would have appreciated if it was six or seven hours uh, around so I would say battery is okay now for the mic testing part listen it to yourself I have compared it with uh, the absolutely amazing mic capabilities of 1000XM5 to give you the contrast this audio is recorded with moon drop space travel in a fan noise this audio is recorded from Sony 1000XM5 in a fan noise back to the mic I would say this is a workable mic in quite condition that's it so back to the mic I am not a good fan of this mic however it is a very workable mic in quiet condition however if you are into very windy situations etc uh, I don't think it will support you much as I mentioned earlier I would choose these over any $20 IEM space travel is amazing in terms of tonality with additional features like ANC gaming mode assistant so I think it's a very good $25 package this all makes it a fantastic value for money product so kudos to Moondrop on space travel so only TWS that comes to my mind that will beat or will compare close to these are LiperTech PurePlay in terms of sound however in as an overall package there's nothing that can beat this in $50 in my mind as of now so do let me know if you like this review in the comment section that's it for Moondrop space travel and thoroughly impressed with these set of TWS this is my go-to recommendation for budget TWS this year 2024 until and unless someone comes with a better bag for your buck product so it's a great budget TWS for your music and if you want purely listening pleasure I would give this solid 4 out of 5 star so thank you everyone for listening to the review do comment your thought on Moondrop Space TWS like share and subscribe and i will see you on the next one